Charlotte has zero dollars, but his dream is to be the president of Brookhaven. Todd needs to get $10,000 to enter the presidential race by the end of the day, or he will never be president. And yes, I'm Todd. Well, guys, I am literally homeless, and I want to clean up the streets of Brookhaven, and I want to be the president, guys. So I've been sitting outside of the mall, and I got this sign that says, need money to be president, because guys, I need $10,000 in order to enter the presidential race. But look, my, my bowl is literally empty, bro. Oh, and there's somebody here right now. Uh, I'm going to ask this guy right now. I'm going to say, uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, any chance you could spare a couple dollars so I can be president? No chance. You know what, guys? All right. Well, I need the money really, really badly, okay? And I'm seeing a golden opportunity right here, which is this guy's dang car, bro. So, uh, I think he's up there right now. I'm not really too sure who the heck that was. But, guys, I think I'm going to do this. And, uh, yep, I'm going to steal this guy's car, bro. Okay, and... <gasps> guys, I got it. Holy crap. Nice! All right, now that I got this guy's car, I can definitely start committing some crimes in Brookhaven a lot easier and, you know, get some money so I can become president, guys. Obviously, you don't want your president of Brookhaven to be committing crimes to get there, but, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and, uh... Holy crap, guys, I'm seeing a golden opportunity here right now, bro, and it is the Brooks truck, bro. Guys, it's like the armored truck, bro, and they always have a ton of money. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of pull up over here right now and just kind of see if there's any way I could, like, steal that truck, bro. <gasps> The bag is open, guys. Oh, my God. If I could get, like, 10K from the back of that truck, I bet there's, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars in there, bro. I bet they wouldn't even notice. All right. Um, okay, guys. There's the armored truck driver right now, and I think he's just loading up the ATM. Okay, so I'm going to be really, really careful, and I'm going to run up right now. Yeah, I don't think he sees me yet. I'm going to try and get in. Okay. Uh, guys, I'm trying to get in. Guys, it won't open it. Uh, he's back. Holy crap. Oh, he said, yo, yo, stop. Come on, guys. Come on. I got to get in and, uh... Oh, he just goes to the back. Come on, open, open. Wait, open. Hey, I'm in. Guys, I don't know how I'm going to be able to open the truck. Okay, crap, guys. I got away. I got away. That's all that matters, guys. Oh, my God. All right, I got away, and I got away with the armored truck. Woo! All right, guys. Well, once I crack this bad boy open, I'm going to easily have the time. <coughs> Oh, guys, I just, uh, I floored the armored truck in the beach. Holy crap. Well, at least the back popped open. Oh, my God, it's on fire, guys. I gotta get the money out of there. Oh, no, 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 the money, the money. No, come on. Oh, crap. Okay, one bag down. Oh, both bags. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. Okay, I got a decent amount of money here. Okay, let me count up how much is in here. I bet I easily have $10,000. Oh, guys, no, I just counted it up, and I only have $2,000. That's it. It was just 1000 in each bag, bro. No. God, I'm, not, I'm running out of time, man. It's getting later in the day. Okay, I, I gotta get eight more grand before the end of the day so I can enter the race, bro. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, I gotta take this money and I gotta hide it and then I gotta go figure out how I'm gonna make some more money. All right, guys. I came up with the plan to get the rest of the money, guys, okay? And you're not gonna like it and I gotta commit a little bit more crime, okay? But I need to be the president of Brookhaven, bro. It's my dream, okay? And I've already gotten so much more further than I was today when I had zero dollars, okay? Now I got two grand. I need to get 8,000 more dollars. I'm already like halfway there, bro. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm at Jay Bobbo's house right now, guys. And as you know, this guy is so rich. I mean, like, I just had this idea that if I just probably like you know stole and sold one of his cars that I'd uh you know probably just easily be able to get the money guys and this guy is so rich you definitely wouldn't even notice okay I see him in there right now and he's just watching dolphin life on the flat screen like dude that is the biggest tv I've ever seen uh, his door is actually open okay well I'm just gonna oh that popped open way more than I was expecting Okay, uh, guys, he said, huh, glide is so funny. Oh my god, guys, at least he got good taste. All right, I'm gonna go over here and, uh, guys, I see a bunch of cars down there, but I have an idea real quick. It's been so long since I've had a cola. Mm. Mm. Jay said, I need another coffee. Crap, guys. Mm, okay. Well, thank God Jay Bobble's got ice cold cola in the fridge, bro. Okay, and, uh, holy crap, look at all these dang cars down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bro's got, like, holy crap, Jay is rich, rich. Well, uh... Let me just open up the garage door, and I'm just gonna take, like, the closest one. This Lambo looks sick. Okay, it's probably worth tons of money. All right, guys, I've never driven a Lambo before, but here we go. Uh, crap. Oh, oh, crap. I'm dinging it up, guys. Oh, I can't get it out of here. Oh, wait. Shea Bobble's looking right at me. Oh, I just crashed into the Hummer. No, I still can't get it out of here. Should I stop? No, bro, why are these things so hard to drive, bro? Come on, come on, guys. I'm so close to getting it out the door, bro. Why can't I get it out? No, come on. This is painful to watch. No! All right, one more final try. Guys, I'm hitting all of Jay's cars. I'm only wrecking up Jay's whole entire garage, bro. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, I literally can't get the heck out of here. And fi finally. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God, guys. I literally just destroyed, like, every car in Jay Bobble's garage. 
and this card just started smoking too because I dinked it up so much. All right, well, I'm gonna take it to the mechanic and see what they'll give me for it anyways. All right, guys, I brought Jay's car over to the auto shop where you get fixed right, okay? You see it on the wall, it says, we fix you right, okay? And they also buy cars. And Jay's Lamborghini out there is worth like hundreds of thousands of dollars, guys, like literally, okay? So let me tell you right now, I'm probably going to get a fat check from this guy. All right, so best I can do for you is... Oh, looks like he's walking and talking. Okay, okay. Um, uh, what, what is it, bro? Okay, guys, they got the Lambo up there right now. And guys, that thing is so sick. Like, I bet they're going to give me, like, at least, like, 200K. I mean, it's dinged up pretty bad, smoking, missing a wheel. Uh, Lambo or not, bro, like, I'm thinking, like... Like 5K. 5K? You gotta be kidding me, bro. Like, I know this thing is worth hundreds of thousands, okay? Like, seriously, only five grand? That still doesn't even get me the 10K I need for the presidential race, bro. Hey, uh, listen, man. I need 8K, okay? I know you're, like, you know, bartering with me right now, but, like, I know this car is worth a lot more. Best I can do is six. No, man, I'm telling you, okay? I, I need it to be eight, okay? Wh what do I have to do to make it eight? How about this? When I'm president, okay, I will give you access to exclusive military and sports vehicles in Brookhaven, okay? The coolest and most exclusive cars you've ever heard of, bro, okay? Nobody has them but the president and, you know, Secret Service. What do you say? I'll make a deal. R really? Yes, I promise. But I need 8K. Done. Wait, really? Oh my God, guys. I think I'm about to get the 8 grand. Holy crap. No way. I can run for president. Oh my God, guys. I got the money. $8,000. Holy crap. Let's go. And he said here. I won't forget about you, bro. I promise. You better not. Or I'll tell the police that you sold me J. Bobble's stolen car. Ooh. Okay, well, uh, all right, well, time to go sign up for the presidential election. All right, guys, well, I was able to collect $10,000, and now I am finally able to sign up for the presidential election and enter, bro. I can't wait. I came all the way to the town hall to do it right now, bro. Okay, and, uh, it appears there's someone in front of me that's okay, and he said, Here's the paperwork. Oh, my God, guys, this must be someone I could be running up against, and, uh, <gasps> wait, I recognize that guy. That guy was at the mall earlier. He told me to buzz off. You? Funny, my car went missing right after I saw you. Oh crap, guys, I forgot I stole this guy's car. Uh, he said, and you were nowhere to be found. Uh, listen, sir, when I'm president, okay, I promise I will clean up the streets of crime. I mean, like, I'm gonna be the best president this city's ever seen. You president? <laughs> so excuse me while I sign up right here. Okay, uh, I believe the presidential entry fee is $10,000. Here you go. Okay, guys, he grabbed the money and I'm filling out my information right now. And this guy's just staring at me, bro. Okay, I, I promise you, bro, when I'm president, I'm gonna be totally chilling boom all right uh here you go sir <gasps> hey guys oh my god i'm officially entered to run the election for president holy crap where on earth did you get that much money you're homeless i literally saw you living in a tent outside of the mall uh i, I don't know what you're talking about sir okay I i'm not homeless i don't live outside the mall crap guys this guy literally knows listen bro i just want to run for president i don't need all this you probably stole my car sold it for the money oh that would have been a good idea guys i should have just done that from the jump like i don't know why i went through with like robbing that armored truck and like robbing jay Bablo. this guy literally gave me like his ferrari where did i park that thing do you have any idea who i am uh mr mustache guy like i don't know bro like who i'm flynn major <laughs> who the heck is flynn major guys i've never heard of flynn major in my life i'm the next president of brookhaven got it enter the election or not it doesn't matter You'll never be able to afford your campaign. What do you mean, afford my campaign? I, I just paid the 10K. It costs $100,000 to run the campaign. Huh, good luck, loser. What the? Guys, 100 grand? Oh my God, I don't got that. How the heck am I ever gonna get 100 grand, bro? You're officially in. Oh, great. Oh no, guys. Oh my God, I'm gonna be the president, which is like what I want, guys, but I don't know how the heck I'm gonna be able to afford a campaign. Like, at least I probably got a while to get the money together, right? Like, by the way, what do you think we can get that 100k? About the end of the week? You'll need it by then or you'll have to drop out. What? Till the end of the week? That's like two days away, bro. To raise $100,000? I, I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to do that, but uh, yeah, don't don't worry. I, I got you by the end of the week. No problem. All right, guys. Well, I need to come up with a plan to get $100,000 to run for president. Crap. Well, guys, I'm heading back home to my tent. And let me just say, guys, I know I'm like the only person in history who's probably been running for president as a homeless person, but... I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to get that $100,000 for my campaign, guys. It's going to be so hard, but I need to figure it out somehow. 
I can do it. Todd, if you want to be president, you're really going to have to put your mind to it. Think creatively. <gasps> I got it. But guys, again, it doesn't involve doing something good. Dang it. All right, guys. Well, I decided to come up with a plan, and it's honestly not the best plan, but I mean, like, I already feel kind of bad about it, but I'm going to be throwing a fake charity fundraiser event, bro. I came up with this, like, disease called colaitis. You know, I mean, it, it could be a real thing, bro. Like, I might even have it. But I'm trying to raise money to stop, you know, like, colaitis, guys, which really is just money that's going to be funding my campaign, but, like, you know, nobody wants to fund somebody who don't, they don't know is running for president, all right? I get it. So hopefully I'll be able to convince people to donate to my cause, and uh, apparently we just got this one guy in the back uh excuse me um excuse me is this thing on this guys crap i really thought more people were gonna be here right now bro but i, I guess it's time to get started no better time and uh someone who, who's that and uh oh my god guys no it's it's flynn major he's literally here at my fundraiser if he finds out that cola itis isn't real bro i'm done so oh wow quite the turnout oh my god and uh, uh hey there mr major uh you uh care about cola itis and guys, he's got that big bag of cash. You think he could be here to donate, bro? Like, I mean, like, literally getting money from the competition would be fire. Never heard of it. What kind of fake news is this? Uh, it's not fake news, sir. It's a very serious disease. Uh, I, I have it myself. Oh, is that so? Oh, well, then I'd love to donate this big bag of money to you right now and uh, help your cause. Psych! Yeah, you thought, bro. I'm not donating this, okay? Uh, why don't you get up on stage and talk before? Die, guys. Oh my god. Flynn Major is such a jerk. Alright, anyways, guys. Maybe this guy up here will donate to me. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me tonight. I am here to talk to you about a very serious disease in Brookhaven. It is called Colaitis. One in every million kids are affected, which is a lot because Brookhaven is the most played game in Roblox. So, like, literally tons and tons of kids. Literally millions. I'm so sorry to say this, but I need lots of money in order to help cure this cause. I want to help people, and if I can't get the money, I won't be able to do that. So please, donate. And so, wait, what the? Flynn, what are you doing up here? You just guys just pushed me out of the way. Help people. Do you guys hear this, loser? When I'm president of Brookhaven, I'm not going to help anyone but my bank account and the taxes, okay? That's how you really help a city. Not some stupid colitis fundraiser. <laughs> Who cares about some sick people anyways? Do you hear yourself, Flynn? You sound like a crazy person. You don't want to help anyone in Brookhaven? Even if the disease is kind of like, you know, skeptical. Like, you're, you don't want to help anyone? Not a chance, okay? Uh, that's why I'm running for president. So I can make Brookhaven the way I want it to be. Not help everyone else. You know... This disease sounds serious. Yes, it is. Out of the way, Flynn. Uh, thank you, sir, for taking it serious. And if you want to actually help, then I'd like to donate $100,000 to Colaitis. Oh, my God. $100,000? That's like the exact amount I need for my campaign. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. Yeah, you hear that, Flynn? Get some, bruh. Okay, get wrecked. Okay, get the heck out of here. My fundraiser doesn't even need you, bro. And he's like tweaking. He's spazzing, bro. Oh my god, sir. Thank you so much, bro. Guys, and don't worry, all right? I know I'm kind of like doing some people bad right now by, you know, getting their money and not really telling them the truth. But don't worry, guys. When I'm president, I'm going to make sure it's worth it. Oh my god, guys. He just handed me the money. Holy crap. I can't believe it. All right. Time to go put this into my campaign. Let's go! All right, guys. Well, I am back. Home sweet home. You know, guys, I'm probably the only person ever in history that's running for president while also homeless, but that's okay. I dropped off my money for the campaign, guys. I'm officially campaigning, and before I know it, bro, I am going to be doing my debate against Flynn Major. Oh, guys, I really, really think that I could be the president of Brookhaven, something I've been dreaming of for a long time. I'm going to go to sleep so I could dream more about it. Choo! Choo! What the? Guys, I swear I just heard like someone take a photo of me and- <gasps> Wait, what the? Guys, is that Flynn Major? What the? Guys, Flynn Major just took my photo of me sleeping in my tent? Oh my god, he's probably gonna try and use that to blackmail me at the debate tomorrow! I gotta follow him. Guys, and we're at the offices of Flynn Major. What the? What, what, what is this, bro? What is he doing? And he's in there right now. It looks like he's uploading that photo onto his phone. And wait, oh, I think he's coming back. Crap, okay, I gotta hide. I think he's coming. Oh, there he is. All right, guys, I gotta go in there and delete that photo. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. And, uh, bro left his phone here. What the heck? Oh, my God. No way, guys. And it's unlocked. Oh, my God. I gotta look through his phone. Okay, delete that photo. And... <gasps> what is this? Oh, my God. This is perfect. 
Okay, renaming it and back on his desk. Well, guys, I made it to the presidential debate, okay? And I'm going to be debating Flynn Major, bro, okay? And that guy is insane. And you know what, guys? I'm going to beat Flynn Major, okay? That guy's such a jerk. He's always trying to do all this shady stuff, bro, okay? But I'm just trying to be the president and help Brookhaven for real. He just wants to raise taxes and get rich. All right, well, it looks like it's almost time, guys. They got all the cameras ready and the mediators there right now. All right, well, let's do this. Time to put on my president smile. Hey, Flynn, good luck. Now for debate number one, begin. I'll go first, thank you very much. Well, Brookhaven, for our first topic, I am going to be talking about safety in Brookhaven. Crime in Brookhaven is a huge problem, and with our tax dollars that we already use, I feel as if we should pay the police more, so that way they do a better job, and that they're more motivated to do a good job. Inevitably making the city safer for everyone. Thank you. Well, hello, Brookhaven. Uh, I am Flynn Major, and I'm going to be your next president. As far as safety, we just need to raise the taxes and pay the police less. More money towards us, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, the government officials are the ones that are really keeping the city safe. So, uh, yeah, more taxes. More taxes? That's like the worst answer to safety ever. All right, on to question number two. Question number two is what would I do to improve the education system here in Brookhaven? I would say that we need to focus more on hiring good teachers and not bad teachers. Yes, good teachers in Brookhaven will definitely help and not bad teachers so that our students become nice and smart. Thank you, Brookhaven. Talk about the stupidest answer I've ever heard in my entire life. Now we need to raise taxes for the educational system in Brookhaven to be better, okay? If we raise taxes, it's super obvious. The educational system in Brookhaven would get better immediately. More money towards the school. I mean, more. the politicians are the ones really teaching everyone about how Brookhaven works. So, I mean, like, I just need more taxes. My competitor just wants to raise taxes for everything, huh? Is that the kind of president you guys want, Brookhaven? Okay, yeah, I'm not the smartest, okay? But at least I won't be raising your taxes every two seconds like this guy. <laughs> You want to talk about money, Brookhaven? I have something to show you all. Uh, what? What is it? This man is a criminal and homeless, and I have proof. What? What are you, what are you talking about? Proof? Guys, oh my god, no way. Uh, Flynn Major has proof that I was stealing and doing all this bad stuff. And it's on his laptop. Oh no. Crap, guys. No, I can't let him show this. Bet you didn't expect. Huh? What the? Huh? It's not... It's not possible. How did you- Last night I heard you take that picture of me, so I decided to follow you back to your office, where I then swapped the photos with the ones of you, so the people of Brookhaven can really see the president that you're trying to be. Oh my god. Brookhaven, this is the kind of president Flynn Major wants to be. He just wants to raise taxes so he can get rich. Vote for Todd, and I will make Brookhaven the best it's ever been. Unlike Flynn Major, who, by the way, uses mustache dye. Bah! <laughs> I bro dyes his mustache black. I do not. Yes, he does. I saw it on his computer. He buys a bunch of black mustache dye on Amazon. You! No, Flynn, no! Ugh. Ugh. What happened? Oh, Flynn Major! Ah! Guys, I'm in the hospital and uh, there's a doctor right here. Doctor, what happened? Mr. President, you're okay! Guys, what is he talking about, Mr. President? And uh, wait, is that Secret Service? Guys, and there's some sort of Secret Service here and he said, Sir, you were shot by Flynn Major, but he won't be a problem anymore. Wait, so, are you guys saying that I'm the president? Yes, Mr. President. Oh, heck yeah, let's get out of here. I'm trying to get to the White House. Guys, I remember not having a dollar in my pocket. Literally zero dollars. And now I'm the president of Brookhaven. And as president, I'm signing my first bill, which is to remove the tax on cola. Woo! No more cola tax. Let's go. Someone give me a cola. Thank you, uh, Secret Service. I love being president.